Did you guys include anything about the pandemic or like Corona or anything in your college essays? Uh, yeah, personally, I didn't. Um, there was a COVID essay that you could fill out if you were really significantly impacted, but I think I read a lot about how many students might try to take that path, about how they've learned a lot from COVID, and I felt like there were other experiences from my life that I'd rather decided to incorporate into my essays. I, I wanted to make my essays personal, and I, I don't think I've had as many personal experiences during the COVID pandemic. So uh, I, I steered clear of that and I, I wanted to talk about what I thought uh, was more meaningful throughout high school. So mo mostly friendships and other stuff. <laughs> like I, I had, I had some, <laughs> some athletic experiences that I could write about. Yeah, sometimes it's just nice to get away from all of the chaos and maybe focus on like something else in your life that was meaningful rather than something that just like sprung up and destroyed everything, so. And I feel like the pandemic's such like a basic thing to write about, especially this year, because, you know, everyone's experiencing it. So you have a good point. I think that, that might depend on, on your approach to it. Like, you know, my experience as compared to your guys' experiences, is gonna be very different. I mean, I had a, I think 2020 relatively was forgiving on me. Like I, I you know, I, I didn't lose any family. I, uh, I was able to keep up with most of the things I wanted to do. Like I can play music at home and I, I didn't find virtual school that troubling. So for anyone who, who doesn't relate to all those things, it, they're going to have more to write about or more, more to talk about and what it meant to them. Agree. Yeah, it really depends on how you were impacted. And I think for younger students looking to write their essays, since the pandemic has affected you further in your high school career, like for us, it was only about like six months before our college essays, we started writing them. Whereas for um, the rest of you, it might be like more like along lines of a year. And that might have really given you more of a significant outlook on life. And I feel like it really depends on what your situation is. But personally for myself, and as Alex was saying, it just really wasn't something that I felt really had altered me in such a way that I wanted to make it the prime focus of my college essay. I had other experiences I decided to draw from. With all these essays, you guys writing so many different things in your life and it was like a stressful time probably. So what was like, the overall college pr process? Like, what was your experience with it? Well, I, uh, luckily, I, I was lucky enough to have an easier time with it because uh, going through athletics, I could, I could do a lot of it through my, my, well, through the college coaches. So what you do is you, uh, you you get in touch with all of the coaches at schools that you're interested in, and they can they can be in touch with their admissions office. And when you when you give them all your credentials, well, not not your credentials. Um, when you essentially hand them your resume, and they'll ask the admissions office to check it. So I I had an early take on what places were re realistic for me, and I. I essentially had an early pick at uh, at whatever school I, I was most interested in. So it, it was nice to have it done early. And it was also nice to, I, don't, I had a, a little bit of a shorter route to the end goal. Uh, so it, it wasn't too bad, but, uh, you know, I still had to fill out all the same stuff. It, it just happened a little faster. Yeah. Um... So yeah, the Alex's athletic process is definitely very different from what traditional students might undergo. Um, personally, it's just been a long process, I think particularly because COVID happened in March and we were all at home. I started thinking about the college application process sooner than I typically would have because I did have a little bit more time on my hand and colleges were starting to reach out regarding virtual tours sooner, which got me thinking about um, really setting up a list for myself in terms of where I wanted to apply and what majors I wanted to look at. So 
I'd say for me, the process has definitely been stressful. It's not been easy, especially with everything going on. And when school started and I had my field hockey season going on, that was probably the most stressful time for me was around the fall when people were getting their early action applications in. But I'd say it's a really rewarding process. If you, if there's one thing I would say is just really try to start as soon as you can. I had a lot of my friends telling me that they were going to wait until August to start when the Common App opened up, but you can definitely start doing things beforehand, like making that list of colleges that you're going to apply to, looking into the majors you're going to apply to, starting to just think of essay ideas. Um, it, it's definitely been a long process, but if you take the time to put in the effort and really put thought into where you want to go, you'll end up finding your path. And like Alex said, he has such a great college lined up for him and he's like already on such a, I mean, he's going to do great. I'm sure um, everyone's going to find their path. So while it's so stressful, I would just say to anyone watching this, who's going to apply, you're going to do great and just keep pushing yourself. You'll eventually get through it right now. I'm still not committed anywhere. I'm doing interviews and I'll be hearing a lot of my final decisions back in March and then making a decision by May. So I have a couple of more months left, but I'm excited at everything. Uh, I'm excited by everything I've done and I can't wait to hear back. And I'm also really excited for all my friends who've started getting in. So it's also just been fun to watch as like a friend to see like people like Alex ending up at like such amazing schools. So that's been fun. <laughs> Are the, um, normally, would you go on, like, college tours, like, in person, or would it always be virtual? So, normally, it would be in person. So, do you think that, do you personally feel like the virtual tour wasn't enough for you? I think, um, for looking at colleges initially, the virtual tour was okay, just since I was trying to get an idea of the colleges, but... Once I start getting accepted and I'm really trying to narrow my list down, I am a bit worried that the virtual setting isn't going to be enough. So like when I get my decisions back in March, I still have about a month and a half to really make a final choice based on the ones I get into. I am a bit nervous just looking at the situation right now and thinking about the fact that I might not be able to actually go um, in person to these campuses, which is something that I thought I would do at the beginning of my high school career is really go right in person, make a nice decision based on the actual experiences I have there. So I am a bit worried about the virtual setting, um, but I think it's the best that we can do right now. So I'll just try to make an educated decision um, based on what's available during this pandemic. For, for me, there are some schools that I wouldn't have been able to visit in person anyways. Like there, there are a few schools in California who wouldn't have been able to fly out um, even before the pandemic. Uh, as for schools around here, uh, I, I don't think virtual tours are, are ideal. Uh, it, you really can't get a feel for the campus unless you're there. And, you know, the, the people, you, you, there's just the atmosphere that you can't experience through a camera. So I, I was able to actually make one trip uh, after the pandemic started because no one was there and the campus was open. So we could kind of drive in and you know, wear our masks around and take some walks. So you, you can still make it work, but it's like everything else during the pandemic, it's a little more of a challenge. Mm -hmm.